Hello there and welcome to the Hash Power Academy, your place to learn anything to do with Bitcoin. I have a very exciting video for you today. First and foremost, this very interesting quote. Bitcoin makes money indistinguishable from energy. Very powerful and it's something to remember for the rest of your life. Why? Well, just picture yourself in the shoes of someone in the future, not too far in the future, that has a solar battery set up and that whatever electricity you use in your house, you use in your house. And the excess electricity that you do not use flows into your digital wallet as money. And essentially what this is, is a computer in the middle consuming the energy that you don't use. That's it. Now, where this gets into the whole topic of this video and what I'm going to explain here about Bitcoin citadels and the decentralization of energy by bringing the production of energy down to the local, well, living level, is that we have this opportunity to have a system in which money is interchangeable from energy. Why? Well, Think of it like this, if you have a power source and a way of consuming power in your home that the excess is turned into money in your wallet, you have what is called a circular economy. You have these sorts of systems which do cost money to set up initially that you want to have some aspect of paying them back over time. But also anyone that wishes to retire in the future and live a bit more with the land because the one thing that AI cannot take from us is the human relationship with the land. Whether you want to grow your own produce or any of these sorts of ideas and expressions of human living that's just you and your environment, your kingdom, and all of those sorts of things are going to have costs. Life has costs. So we have to have some form of revenue streams and we're going to have to have energy available to just live. I'm sure you're going to want to be connected to the internet, even if you live as far away from society as possible. But the other aspect of this, think about this. You've got your solar battery set up at home, but you go and visit family, friends, go for Christmas, go on holiday. And so you've got this energy system set up, producing power abundance. And in this scenario, all of it can be mined into your wallet as money. But the aspect of Bitcoin making the idea of money indistinguishable from energy is that you, you could trade with your neighbor, that you go away on holiday and your excess energy is turned into money. That's the default. But what if your neighbor has all his family over and he needs energy? You have excess energy that you're turning into money. This sets a pricing for your energy, the mathematical connection of Bitcoin being produced through compute to your electricity level, well, your neighbor could effectively have a microgrid relationship with you that he's able to buy the energy from you at the same rate that you can turn it into Bitcoin. So he can pay you Bitcoin in an automated fashion for your electricity that you're not needing. And so there's this way of society being able to communicate energy and money interchangeably at the local level. But interestingly enough, because Bitcoin sets this price at a global level, it standardizes things at the local level in a much more clearer way. Now, the other interesting thing about this is you don't typically want to be using the most latest and greatest, most highly efficient machines, because this does, yes, increase profitability, but you're not going to have as much uptime in the scenario that you're having a computer dynamically change how much electricity it uses to just consume the excess of what you're not using in your own house or what you're trying to sell maybe to others at that microgrid Bitcoin Citadel community level. This system is ready to be built and I'm sure it's already been built in certain areas. Maybe it's more on the quiet side, but the point I want to make about this interchangeability of energy and money being able to be traded between citizens at that local level is that this scales to entire cities. So if uh, Naib Bukele 
is listening, I would very much like to build this system in your Bitcoin city. So the aspect of how we get here, how do we fund and build this, this infrastructure setup of microgrids priced in Bitcoin, that are essentially Bitcoin electricity grids. We get to that by having old machines deployed and hosting at scale, racked and hashing, extract as much Bitcoin from them by economically mining, which is buying power at three, four, five, six, seven, eight ish cents and mining 15, 20, 30 cent right into the bull market, extract as much Bitcoin from brand new machines. And as they become less economically viable in hosting, is then we distribute these old machines out into the world and build these Bitcoin citadels. If that sounds interesting, please give me an email. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm going to say the quote again, Bitcoin makes money and the idea of it indistinguishable from energy. And in this case, electricity in the home, using the excess of what you don't use and flowing it into your wallet. Would you like to have excess energy abundance in your house and it just flow into your house or into your wallet? You use it either way. It's the same thing. Thank you. Goodbye.